More right now on Tropical Storm Nicole and the impact it's having in South Florida. Right, let's get to it here. CBS 4's Terry Hornstein. She's live in Deerfield Beach. Terry, how are things there this morning compared to what it was? Hey, good morning. You know what a difference a day makes. Yesterday by this time, my photographer and I were just absolutely soaked. Uh, you know, those rain bands coming in every about 30 minutes yesterday. So far, we haven't seen rain at all. It is still a bit windy, not as windy as yesterday. But if you take a look, you can see over here the Deerfield Beach Pier. You can still see some of those waves just beating up on the pier. And I want to show you some video of what it looked like last night of the pier. You can see it really took a beating overnight. Part of the railing just flew lying up from some of those waves there. Uh, they are going to go out and assess the pier today, take a look at it, see what needs to be fixed, what damage is on that pier before they reopen it. They want to make sure it's safe and sturdy before they reopen it. I also want to show you something else that's interesting. If you take a look at the sand here, uh, on the sand you see a lot of seaweed. So that water came all the way up to that grassy area there. So you can just see how high that water came in close to the building where we're standing to the pier here. So a lot of rain yesterday, a lot of wind. And again, that pier just took a beating yesterday. So we're going to check in with Deerfield Beach once they get out here to see what they say about the pier and when it will be able to reopen. For life for you this morning in Deerfield Beach, Terry Hornstein, CBS4 This Morning.